So you like, recording? Bird people are weird people. <laughs> Put it out there. <laughs> he's like, it's just gonna, it's like, it's not gonna go on YouTube, right? I'm like, it might. And he's like, oh, then I can't say what I want to say. You never see somebody with a dog that's uncontrollable going crazy. He's like, I want another one. <laughs> I know, but you know, like talking is in my best suit. <laughs> Expressing feelings and things like that. Yeah, I'm like the hiking, you know, <laughs> launching bird. I, I excel at those things. Hi, I'm Jen. And I'm Winsley. And we have a blue throat in my phone named Pilot. So we chose a blue throat because I really, I wanted blue and gold when I was 10 years old because I didn't know about blue throats. And then I met a blue throat um, about 15 years ago and I was like, oh, these guys are cool. Um, they were not calm like the blue and gold that I had met and they were just so animated. I know now that means that they're a lot of work, but um, their personalities are just, they're different. I did an internship at a zoo 13 years ago and I was really interested in training specifically because I had just gotten around to training my dog. Um, and they had a training program. So the animals that I would be learning around would be animals that they use in the show versus, you know, normally zookeepers are one specific species, so like birds, primates, etc. So that was really cool because I had only until then um, done training with dogs and to see that you can do it with so many species was really cool. Uh, one of the trainers that was supervising me said, you can train anything to do anything and that was just that was everything. That was really cool. She was training a very old, sick um, porcupine to do the same trick that the McCall learned in like three sessions. I somehow found bird tricks a really long time ago when I first had my clicker. Um, I know because I have emails <laughs> that I like send with like random questions. And I was looking, at the time I was just looking for anything. There just wasn't anything. Um, and even you guys, like it was paid stuff and like I barely had started working. Um, my mom didn't even want all the animals I had in the house, so like asking her to pay for them was not gonna happen. It was that, and then I think I actually started getting into like watching videos like seven, eight years ago. I was like, wow, like they're really cool. I can't name other people, but other YouTubers were not as savvy. I guess the difference is um, your your videos provide a lot more education um, and like usable information versus just this is my experience with my bird. Um, which doesn't translate like everybody's life is so different. So I looked into the very few free flight options um, and Having a mentor that was near me was not gonna be an option I barely knew any bird people in Houston at all and so I looked into different options and I knew that I needed someone to like guide me through it You know, I have all the training knowledge but going outside and flying a bird is like I'll just never know enough about that I can do it for 20 years and I'll only have done it with my bird. So I was not going to take the risk without um, someone behind me to support us.
What I learned was not to get in my head so much. I always get in my head, just about everything. And I remember there was one session that I had sent to Dave and I'm just like, well, here's a terrible one that you can like give me feedback on because everything sucked. And he's like, it looked fine. But I was having a bad day. <laughs> yeah, and definitely for me, what I learned about myself was uh, just kind of sticking with the training and kind of remembering what I was training yesterday as I move on to something else. Uh, I was trying to remember, you know, if I'm gonna treat now or, or treat later, clicking when to click and things like that. When he takes off or when he lands, this definitely was, I'm like, okay, I need to memorize things better, especially since he was doing better flying to her than flying to me. I, I wanted, I didn't want him to only want me. I really wanted them to have a relationship. So that was one of the things that I was like, I need to just step back and like, if they're failing, like Dave will point it out and like they can work on it. Um, because I'm a little bit of a micromanager. Um, <laughs> and so I was like, I was like, I'm just gonna work on the computer and just you guys do your thing. Do you wanna say? Very first flight, I mean, I think it was awesome. Uh, he was supposed to do just one short flight, but he took off into the air. Surprisingly, I wasn't worried at all. It was just, it was really cool. Even though he definitely bit off more than he could chew <laughs> that first flight. You guys, I'm so, 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 so excited. Okay, we have a baby blue throat. It's been so long since we had a blue throat free flight student. Um, the bird's name is Pilot. He is so adorable. It's giving me baby Jinx vibes. And Jinx is the bird we're gonna use today to work on getting Pilot in the air successfully and anything that we might need. So I'm really, really excited because Jinx is inside meeting him. They met last night for the very first time. Everything went great. And Jinx is kind of like, I don't know, showing me baby vibes around this bird. He's yelling at me right now because I'm gone. I'm gonna show them to you because they're so cute and I'm so excited and we're about to go outside for the first time. Jinxy, we're going outside. All right, so the plan is to set you up for success with some short ADVs first. Remember, you might have to do target or step ups first, something to kind of warm them up. Um, I'm gonna put the perch a little further away from the house so we have more room for him to do a circle if he chooses to without going out of sight. But uh, once I get to put the right, uh, far left drawer there, there's one more stick. Where right, everybody? Where is everyone? Uh, there's not really any perceivable wind, but I'd probably put you over here for for the start. Checking out the birds. Pilot. Or he's gonna start with an exploratory. Ah. We trained them. Pilot. <laughs> Oh. Just ask for a really ah. short recall. Yeah, really short. Try luring him. He's like, leave me alone. Sweet. Oh, I'm exhausted. All that for that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> that's cool. Two, one. Woo! <laughs> All right, now just contact with him. <laughs> nice, so he's turning the song right. Good. Nice. And big treat. How'd you feel? Good, it was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. I have to say I really value flying with other people. I didn't think I'd care. <laughs> I'm like, who cares about other people and their birds? <laughs> other people are cool. <laughs> and the other, like having the other birds around, like obviously helped. He definitely enjoyed it more with other birds. Ah. Woo! Contact, Lindsay. Seriously, you know, you're 
glad that I made you come out here to <laughs> socialize. <laughs> so working with Dave as a trainer. Um, yeah, it was great. I mean, it was just easy. It was so great. It's so easy to communicate with you. And you pick up on stuff that I never would have picked up on. Or, or that I would have thought that would have made a difference. Like, I don't think this is what it is, but Dave said to do it, so we'll just do it. And then it works, I'm like, well, <laughs> I guess Dave was right. <laughs> My favorite part was being up on the dunes and watching him take off with everybody uh, flying around in a circle, kind of following them. And towards the end, you know, he started leading them flying out. And that was awesome to see him actually take the initiative uh, before other birds. Yeah, other than sliding down the dunes. My favorite part was um, definitely when we switched from him just flying uh, because we wanted him to fly and he was going to get a treat and there were other birds doing it. That moment where he's like, this is fun, I can't wait to do it. Oh, that was everything. That was everything. One, two, three. Woo! Good job, Jen. Look at Pilot go! He's in front! So cool. Whoa! Nova! <laughs> Holy! Oh! Pilot jinxed some too. Jen, let him know where you're at. Good job, Winsley. He's coming for you, Winsley. Nope, he's going for Jen. Good job! That was so good. That's so cool. Yeah, they are. Look at them. <laughs> like right here. Happy Titan. Over here. Over Good here. job, Heather. Over here. See that? He turned her. Good job, guys. Hey, last question. Who do you like working with more? Dave or Jamie? Uh, well, it depends. <laughs> it depends. Do you have a friend? Depends if Jamie's in the room. It depends if Jamie's around. I mean, they both have their own yeah. different teaching styles, so it's, it's kind of hard. It just depends on what you need. Dave is on the uh, softer side. You know, Jamie just gives it to you how it is. I think it's a great combination. I do. I think you guys complement each other really well. Um, I think if I was having a bad day, Dave would be better. But, because <laughs> he's, you know, he's going to say it in just the right way. But um, but I, I do like just being told things um, up front. I like being clear. And so if I'm doing it wrong, like I want to just be told I'm doing it wrong. Um, and that's totally not a negative thing. Like, I really like that, so, yeah, both of you guys are great. Why do you feel it's important to match the colors of your parrot while free flying? Because <laughs> it makes it easier for him to see me, and when he comes to land, it's, it's, I guess I stand out among the crowd, so to say. I mean, that's And we also look good in pictures. <laughs> <laughs>